Hey everybody, this is Aquiline Spiritual, also known as Justine. How are you? How are you doing this fine day? Whenever you catch this, I hope you guys are having a great day. No matter what's going on, don't let anybody bother you and don't let anyone tear you down or make you feel like shit. Because guess what? They can kick rocks, okay? So much love. <laughs> but anyway, so these are uh, numbers, so pick intuitively. So this is going to be what's going on. Like anything that you need to know yeah i was just drawn to do this reading i think it'd be really fun i love the way my setup looks really really beautiful so yeah we have number three nine eight and four so choose intuitively or you know choose more than one whatever and if you feel the need to you can donate to me at opulent spiritual at my cash app i would greatly appreciate it and also subscribe to my channel hello you should be subscribed already like I know you guys love me so here we go and uh yeah and give me a thumbs up share with your family your friends all that good stuff and yeah many blessings to you and if you would like to book a private reading with me you already know you can email me and look in that description box below baby and let me know all right namaste all right whoever chose number three what's going on for you is i see number three very significant for you you could be seeing a lot of three three threes you could be born in the year of the tiger or someone coming in is born near the tiger or 2022 is going to be very important and significant for you in your life yeah because you could be going through some kind of glow up some kind of transformation during this time i feel like you're going to be going into a lot of abundance a change a big change number three or you could be going through a change right now heavy change transitional i'm seeing butterflies a lot of butterflies dragonflies you could be drawn to these type of things drawings frogs nature i'm just seeing and i'm just calling out whatever i'm seeing in my head and also the third of the month could be significant. Something with the third of the month. Yeah, so let's see what's going on. Spirit, uh, guardian angels, ascended masters, universe. What does the viewer need to know? Whoever chose this, number three. Let's see. Let's get a moon message for you. Wow, you got a lot here. So let's see what's going on. So number three is, let's see, we have nothing will come of this situation. Expect powerful change, I told you. Something with the eclipse season. So the next eclipse from when I'm, see when I'm uh, filming this, <laughs> if I could talk, is November and December. Um, look it up, Google it. But this is a timeless reading. So the next eclipse from when you see this be bold and make the first move and a win-win outcome is forecast full moon and libra so that is amazing so you could be a libra or dealing with a libra i see a lot of purples and pinks here so you could be working on your your crown chakra i was gonna say your throat chakra and your heart chakra at this time yeah be bold be bold and make the first move there's a need for you to take action in something and I feel like it's something in a, in a relationship or a situation, maybe with work or career, that nothing is coming from the situation. Maybe you're not getting any fulfillment from it. So let's pull a card from my homemade deck. Let's see what's going on for this pile. Number three, what do they need to know? All right, thank you so much. So let's see. So the first card is never ending story discovering new ways of doing things the hanged man new person or job so something with a new person or job coming in for you the hanged man travel for work or pleasure making plans for the future needing to listen more a patient person timing is now the present so from the time you see this this is when this is going to happen awesome fruit basket fire sign or water sign oh leo sagittarius aries or i was going to say virgo taurus capricorn but uh, hey that could be you but a uh, water sign scorpio shout out to all my scorpios we have scorpio cancer and pisces and 
yeah we're going into scorpio season from the time i'm filming this but like i said it's a timeless reading so take what resonates and then you have heart-shaped box period of loss arguments needing clarity poor diet slash decisions heartbreak healing heart chakra work with rose quartz or green quartz sunstone and pisces so pisces again so you could be dealing with the pisces or, or that's you pisces libra sagittarius what else we got here scorpio fire and water definitely so this could be someone coming in this could be two different people in love or friendship a platonic you know what i mean i see you changing your diet or there's a need for you to change your diet or the decisions you make for like the, the way that you um handle like you know your body your body is a temple right so if you're feeding a junk food and you're not being healthy you know what to do right maybe there's a need for you to seek some counseling maybe it's your mental health maybe you need some clarity healing your heart you know you need to let things go you need to heal your heart i see i see heartbreak for you um so maybe you went through this already and you're getting out of it because there's a period of loss here some some bad luck some bad luck but i see a win-win outcome forecast so this could just be in the past because i you have fruits basket here so prayers coming true long-term love so if you were in a relationship before i see you coming into a relationship that is very abundant equal give and take of energy this is my homemade deck by the way um and they could be a fire sign or water sign or they could have some libra in their chart yeah and this is definitely a new person a person that you that you never met before and you can meet them at work starting a new job or like moving somewhere new something you're starting new this can even be something online to be honest because i'm hearing zoom so what else damn a lot of energy here and yeah the timing is now the present so from whenever you see this like maybe like a week later to a month you know or three weeks from now three days right because you have number three three days three weeks three months it could be significant here all right so we have little moments big memories meeting someone new romantic friendship see you're meeting someone new lifelong partnership so this could be someone you end up having a lifelong partnership with so that's nice and if this is not in romantic sense this could be in business as well travel in your city or state one day at a time posting pictures and secret admirer this could be a secret admirer okay think happy too self-critical not happy with life at the moment worried think happy thoughts meditation is needed not happy in your relationship so i'm telling you you you're definitely going through some kind of heartbreak but i see you getting out of that okay because you were having toxic thoughts this relationship was toxic year of the tiger number three you can't make this shit up look you guys are are looking at i i'm literally shuffling right in front of you so something with the year of the tiger here calm cool and collected happy thoughts okay the fifth of the month so something with the fifth of the month here yeah okay weekend vibes traveling short term short trip i was gonna say short term trip so maybe a little short trip you're gonna take because it also says here travel in your city or state so i i see you traveling on a short trip in your city or state that's cool hanging out with friends and family enjoying life so maybe your friends and family live in like another part of your state another town and you're gonna go visit them oceans parks lakes call coastline so maybe you live next to the ocean or parks or lakes or even near the coastline overseas this could even be for some of you you could be traveling overseas just for like a week or two just like a short little trip being present in the moment so being in the present moment is very important for you and you and there's a need for you to be in the present moment stop thinking too far ahead stop overthinking something is becoming overwhelming past is holding you back time to let go of the past yeah for this pile you need to let go of the past and enjoy your life because you're 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 too you're looking at too many things like and you need to let and, and it has to do with the past you're thinking too much about the past and you need to let the past go i know that's hard sometimes but forgive it and let it go right space 
darkness, unknown, musician and artist. So you could be a musician or an artist, or this is someone coming towards you. Get out of your head. Yeah, you guys are in your head way too much. Like way too much. This pile is an overthinking pile. Trust me, I know, because I'm I'm an overthinker too. So there's a need for you to ground yourself and to meditate. Going beyond someone that is at a distance. Yeah, you could be dealing with someone, maybe you meet them online and they're just at a distance from you, you know? Maybe you're gonna start off as friends first and then it's gonna become more romantic. The future is unsure. And that's what's making you guys nervous. It's like, oh, I don't know what's gonna happen. You know, you're unsure of your future, but you shouldn't be, okay? Because I see happy, happy things happening for you. More in 2022 though. Surprise, you're not meant to know everything. 3D to the 5D. So I see you tra like really going to like the 3D to the 5D transitional phase in your life. The, you could be very spiritual. Okay. Connecting to spirit, success with effort. Yeah. So I see you being very successful, but it's going to take some effort. You know what I mean? So let's close the reading with some messages. Say. all right that's enough we have january so something with january blessings coming in in the winter so that makes sense travel to faraway places so yeah a lot of you could be going overseas there's a lot of travel here listen to your heart you are ready to love and the healing is done. All right. Well, there you go. Spirit's telling you that. So if you need a confirmation with that, there you go. Secret admirer. You have that twice. So someone's definitely watching you online or someone at work or something that you have a secret admirer. Work on yourself. Keep moving forward. Don't go back. Yeah. See, Spirit's even telling you again to let go of the past and keep moving forward. I know it's hard. But let it go, ground yourself, and know that you are on the right path and you are on the right track and you're doing everything that you have to do. So thank you so much, Pile 1, and I will see you in the next one. Many blessings to you. Namaste. Love and light. Hi, Pile 2, number 9s. Hello, my number 9s out there. So you could be born on the 9th of the month. 9 is the number of ending. So you could be ending something, and it could be very hard and traumatic. I feel like you're a very um, strong person, a survivor. I feel like you could have went through a lot of hardships in your life, especially at a young age. Um, you could be the youngest one in your family or the oldest one in your family, but not the middle, just like out of your siblings, if you have siblings. I feel like a lot of people counted on you, counted on you for a lot of different things. Um, you could be born in the year of the monkey or dealing with someone you're the monkey or you could be um born in september so virgo libra here and even um leo energy here so let's see what's going on for you what do you need to know god universe what does the pile need to know thank you whoa very confused you guys can be very confused Yep, okay, so let's see what's going on. Nothing is yet set in stone. You guys could live near the water or the ocean, something with the ocean here. The energy is gaining momentum. Oh, shit. And then surrender to the divine, full moon. So the next full moon could be uh, synchronistic here, something with the full moon. Your Whatever moon placement you have, it could be in the ninth house, and it's very, very strong and prominent. Yeah, something you're doing is gaining momentum. So if it's something, a new project or something with work, I see you getting very popular, known, going viral. If you have an online platform, someone's mirroring you. You're coming into union with someone. They're still at a distance, but you're coming closer and closer to someone. If this is a love situation. So let's see. Number nine. For all my number nines out there number nine all right let's see okay so you have love puppy love commitment union addiction one night stand flowers and gifts P 
pink slash red candles forgiveness so there's a need for you guys to forgive or you're going through a period of forgiveness forgiving yourself and others you're working on yourself and i feel like your manifestations are coming true they're gaining momentum but everything's not set in stone yet so there's still stuff that's in divine timing right now and it's stuff that you're not really supposed to know like the universe is trying to keep it still like secret from you and if this is someone coming in that's new okay i feel like it's going to be very passionate and very romantic this is a commitment okay but beware of addictions here this could end up being a one night stand with somebody and flowers and gifts so this love language could be flowers and gifts like a gift giving i mean so we have thai prayer flowers marriage and wholeness whoa so maybe somebody coming in it could have to do with marriage and wholeness here so part divine partnership this could be your divine partner uh partner so yeah because these two moons are like coming together you know what i mean to create a full moon yeah, I love that. I'm hearing teardrops for some reason. Okay, 1111. So you could be seeing a lot of 1111s. Four days, four weeks, four months from now. Interesting. So you have number nine and number four. So four to nine weeks from now, four to nine months from now, four to nine days from now, the sun, Leo energy here, earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or earth sign season. So the next earth season from when i'm filming this is capricorn but again this is a timeless reading and you have feminine energy here so very nice and then you have money tree sudden wealth gambling happiness and joy lucky streak new stream of income tgif thank god it's friday night there you go so something's happening on a friday you could be getting paid like papers you know very wealthy rich nice you could be winning the lottery so maybe play the lottery from when you see this. Play it on a Friday. So you never know. Or you could just be winning the lottery in life. You know what I mean? Like spiritually, like this person coming in, you're going to feel like you won the lottery with them. Because they're so beautiful. Because you do have sudden wealth gambling. So you could be gambling. Alright, this is my homemade deck. So let's see what's going on. They're both my homemade deck. So let's see. What else for this pile? Wow, wow, wow. A lot of messages here for you guys. So I'm going to take them. A lot, a lot of messages. So let's see. So we have wow you know world of warcraft that's what <laughs> that's so maybe you guys play that um nerdy hot nerd Ooh, maybe somebody coming in they're like a hot nerd you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying gamer online zoom calls meeting online love apps exhausted get out more done healing yeah you guys already done the work you healed you're you're being too much of a hermit now you need to get out there networking winner so you're a winner in something going viral earth signs again so definitely earth energy here earth signs introvert losing time so i feel like because like my intention when i made this card was losing time because you know when you play world of warcraft it takes like or anything like a game like that like minecraft or whatever it's like you lose like hours and hours and hours you know you could be playing that game for like ever dragon so year of the dragon you could be born in the year of the dragon this is someone coming in number five could be synchronistic because that's year of the dragon so five days five weeks from now the fifth of the month feeling pressured peer pressure defending yourself fighting for your beliefs not sure of the future why so you guys are asking why a lot like why did this happen why am i going through this why do i need to do this why 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 too many whys here what is going on? 13. 13 adds up to number four. Again, you have number four here. Stepping out of your comfort zone, leaving others behind. Yeah. I feel like it's like you're asking the universe, like, why do I need to do this? Like, why do I need to do that? But there's a need for you to get out of your comfort zone and start doing what you need to do. Especially if you want to meet this beautiful person. What is going on? Grateful. 
new project, hobby, learning a new skill, you need to be more grateful, transformation, new beginning, fresh start, end of a toxic relationship. Okay, here we go. Endings bring new beginnings, spring slash summer. Number 999, here you go. There you are, right there. There's your numbers. Number 999, changes, endings. Number eight, year of the goat, year of the monkey, and year of the horse here. And again, abundance, number 777 here. So definitely play the lottery. You got K-drama. Love of a lifetime. Wow. This is your soulmate. This could even be a twin flame. I know that's rare, but 1111, you know what I mean? This could. This is definitely your divine counterpart. Need to t need time to think. Yeah. Because you guys, you guys been alone for a while, you know, like in your little hermit mode thing over here. And you could have been hurt really bad in the past. And you were in a toxic cycle with somebody. But this person coming in, this is a love of a lifetime. Coming together after a long period of time, one to two years. So you could have been single for one to two years, you know. Always have loved you. So this could be someone from your past. If this is not a new person, not for everybody. But this could be someone from your past that you lost contact with and whatever. Maybe you guys, you know, went separate ways, whatever one-sided it could have been one-sided love bombing meeting through an introduction stores malls convenience stores cities coffee shops school universities mm. dream happiness and joy blessings coming in big dream big <laughs> big dream <laughs> take time to take action on what you want yet yeah, it spirit keeps telling you take action take action stop being in your comfort zone your little bubble in your com in your computer chair playing world of warcraft okay i love you guys like it's all love here but you guys gotta get out there dreams coming true finally things are working out obstacles being removed getting noticed especially online so if you have an online platform you do something online. I see you getting noticed. I see you becoming popular. Yeah, I'm hearing forgiveness as well. Yeah, I'm like breathing heavy over here. I'm all excited and like, damn, celebrate, fun. You guys can be getting a lot of anxiety. Let me take some, let me take a water break. Okay. Time to celebrate you. Okay, you. You see that? time to celebrate you you're being too hard on yourself bro birthday wishes coming true parties celebrations being invited family and friends work functions work trips special event and news so i see news coming to you like really great news a special event so here we go right so you guys could be invited to something very special okay maybe a party or something, something at work and go to it, okay? Because it's going to be out of your comfort zone. You're going to be overthinking it like, oh, should I go to this? Oh, I want to stay home. I want to play video games. No. Celebrate you. Go out with your family and friends. Go to work shit and do what you have to do because you're going to meet this person there, okay? Like, like this is very nice. This is a K-drama, okay? Come samida. Come samida. Annyeong. So let's close this with some spirit messages. Okay. New job. So there you go. There's that. You have September. Ooh. September number nine. I mean, that makes sense, right? September, December maybe something's a maybe here hmm, interesting new friend oh that's nice new love Ooh. treat yourself baby past life connection oh wow this person this soulmate this is from your past life wow this is deep near future need to be alone hmm Hmm, interesting. I feel like you guys are always alone. But maybe, like, you know, you guys are just the type of people that like to be alone a lot. Like to, you know, to re-energize. You know, maybe that's like your escape to play video games and stuff. Starting over. So, hmm, interesting. If this, if this is someone from the past, it's going to be a whole new beginning. Because I feel like you didn't have anything toxic with this person. It was just like you guys just, 
went separate ways. You know what I mean? Soul contract. Wow. Wow. That's just confirming it like five times. May. February. And May twice. So something with May here. Number five. Heavy, heavy here. So Taurus. And that's it. Thank you so much. Namaste. Make sure you hit that like button. Give me a like and leave me a comment and tell me what you want to see. Tell me how great your day's going. And I love you guys. And what else do I have to say? Yeah, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. What, what are you waiting for? Hello? Namaste. Love and light. Hi, pile three. Number eight. Number eight. The number of transformation transitional phase in your life yeah i see you glowing up right and i left number nine over here so maybe you guys were attracted to number nine pile as well so check that out maybe there's some messages for you there so yeah you could be the year of the goat or someone coming in as the year of the goat so this is definitely for you definitely big message here you could be born on the eighth of the month or you can be born in august so you could be a leo a virgo or, a, or um, a cancer you know in that time frame eight days eight weeks eight months from now something is gonna happen my babies what is going on for my pile threes what's going on for my pile threes whoa wait spirits is like spirits like look underneath so okay adjustments are required hmm i wonder why spirit wanted me to look underneath let's see so wow you got a lot of messages gotta deliver it gotta deliver it to my people what what was that again it was adjustments are required so something needs adjustments in your life or you're going to be very uncomfortable in this time frame because you're going through um, a lot of uh, transitional things. So you're going to be a little, it's going to be a little bumpy. Nothing that you can't handle though. Nothing you can't handle. Okay, you have communication is key. Gemini energy here. It's time to take action. Wow. Okay, Aries. You're the goat. You're the goat. You got a lot, a lot of year of the goats here. You have Capricorn. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Nice. Hold your vision. You are good enough. And a new romantic cycle begins. Libra, Virgo. Wow. Nice. So I see you guys having a new romantic uh, cycle beginning. After some heartache, after some pain, you guys could have went through some kind of separation, divorce in your love life yeah i feel like you guys um had trouble in your past communicating you could be a public speaker or going into some kind of field that you need to speak to a lot of different people you could be in the justice system or this is someone coming towards you and i feel that you've done a lot of healing you're very strong this group is a survivor group big time survivor all right i'm a survivor i'm not no giver na, 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 na. keep on surviving right hold your vision hold your vision my people yeah there's a need for you to hold your vision i feel like you guys keep your word so you're very honest and loyal yep and this is someone coming towards you as well they're going to be mirroring you number eight okay what does spirit want to tell you guys let's see All right, so you have moon and sun. Celestial vibes, 90s baby. Long distance energetically. Not ready for a commitment. Boats moving. Bouncing light and dark side. Velvet. Soft spoken person. Large friend group slash networking. Wow, I see you guys networking. Getting a large um, friend group online. Being very social. Soft spoken person. That could be you or someone coming in. You could be a 90s baby or that's someone coming in. And they could be at a distance from you, this this new romantic person. Okay. And you're bouncing your light and dark side right now. So you could be healing, doing a lot of inner work, shadow work. 
allergies, second opinion on a matter slash situation, love affairs, 12 a.m., nighttime, new full moon. Hmm. So you have full moon in Virgo, and I feel like, yeah, full moon in Capricorn. So a lot of full moons and, and new moons here. So by the next full moon or new moon, from when you see this, truths come into light. You're going to get a lot of truths that come to light. And number seven, so year of the horse, the seventh of the month, July, Cancer. Hmm. Interesting. And then you have trophy. Winning a long battle, inner battle victory, offer of money slash love, personal power, wealth increases small, November, December, very prosperous, health, healing with the eyes, third eye chakra, nice. So I see you guys healing, you could be getting a second opinion about something with health, maybe with your eyes, you know, maybe you found out that you need glasses, or like you've been getting a lot of headaches, maybe it's something with like your allergies, um, that you're allergic to things and you didn't know. So I see you going to the doctors, getting checkups, finding out um, things like that with that. And something about November and December here. So you could be born in November, December. So Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, things like that. I see a little, a little gift coming to you, like money-wise. But it's small, you know, but it's still nice. So it's like a gift that you could be getting online. Maybe this is donations from people. Maybe a little, little lottery win. Maybe a little... A little uh, just you know you find the hundred dollars in your pocket that you forgot that was in your jacket from last summer I mean last winter <laughs> you know maybe it was last summer I don't know so you have ohm here peace and love spiritual person career related to spiritual practices healer slash empath so that could be you or someone coming in a very spiritual person or this you're you're in a career that's very spiritual balanced proactive cancer sign slash season again you have cancer here, seven. So something with cat, cancer, cancer season. Spiritual retreat. Being open to change. Frogs, color orange and the sacral chakra. Hmm, interesting. All right, so let's get... This is my homemade deck. That's my homemade deck, but this is my other homemade deck. <laughs> All right. So let's see what's going on. For number eight here. Mm, they're saying one, one more. Okay, hold on. One more. Yeah, the only thing is that my uh, my hands are small, so this deck is a little bit big, but it's okay. All right, so I thought there was two here, but I guess only one. So, so I, yeah, they said to take the top one. That one wanted to come out. So, so we have new project, grateful, hobby. So a new project or hobby you're starting, learning a new skill. You need to be more grateful, transformation. Here we go, number eight. It's literally right there. See it? So there you go. Um... New beginnings, fresh start, end of a toxic cycle. Ending brings new beginnings, spring or summer. So something with the spring and summer with this pile. Number 999. Okay, so again, you could have been drawn to number 9 pile, 777. And number 8, changes and endings. And you could be seeing a lot of butterflies. Butterflies could be synchronistic. It's nice to be nice. Feeling happy, healthy, cheerful, joyful, feeling loved. Honesty is the best policy. Wow. You guys are very honest. And this is somebody coming in as well. They're going to mirror you, match your energy. Keep your word. Something with the word here. Because it, li it literally said that. Where, where was that? Yeah, communication is key. Yeah, something with keep your word. Say what you mean and mean what you say. Good karma, meeting good people with good intentions. Wow, that is so awesome. So you have one of a kind, look within for the answer, promotion, getting motivated, inspiration, learning from the past, making healthy choices in love and life. Congratulations. Wow. That is so awesome. So we're going to close the reading with some, some messages, some spiritual messages. Okay, that's enough. 
Yeah, see? Look at this. This one wanted to come out. Keep going almost over one week to one month. Okay. So we have spiritual guidance. Moving soon. Job or home. Hmm. Big happy changes. Wow. Nice. Wish being granted. Holy crap. That's great. Know your value. Yeah, absolutely. Know your value. Shadow work. Look at that. That's crazy. Chill out. So there's a need for you to chill out, relax, visit family. You know, maybe that'll make you uh, help you chill out and relax. Dreams coming true. Wow, I'm so happy for you guys. Get creative. So maybe with that new hobby. Toxic love. Yeah, I see you guys getting out of some kind of toxic thing because you're starting a, a new romantic cycle in Libra season. Could be. July again. Wow, this has been coming up for you like a million times. So something with July. New job. So maybe you're going to get a new job in July or some kind of thing here. You have April. And you have getting a promotion. All right, that's it. Thank you so much. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Remember to give me a big like and comment down below if this resonated with you. Hello, I want to know. I love you guys and subscribe to my channel, of course, like always. And namaste. Have a great, great day. All right, whatever you're doing. Don't let anyone bring you down. Love and light. Hey, pile four. Conveniently, number four. <laughs> so number four, you could be born on the fourth of the month. You could be year of the rabbit or the cat it's the same and you can own a cat or a rabbit fourth of the month four days four weeks four months from now number four you could be seeing four 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 and also is number four is april so something with april aries so you could be an aries you're the goat as well so let's let us find out number four is the number of balance so and that can also be a house number as well. So if you are house number four, that your number adds up to number four, you're a very balanced person. You could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. The colors in your house are like earthy tones, or you could be drawn to that. Very grounded, stable. You could have a lot of plants in your house, a lot of plants. Just you have a green thumb, you know what I mean? I'm here in Aquarius, so. Yeah, okay. Ooh, a lot of messages for you guys. So we have, hold your vision. A personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in Cancer, so we have Cancer energy here. Wow. Expect powerful change. Wow, eclipse. So something by the next eclipse could be a... Uh, significant for you and then you have fiery climax approaches aries what did i say so we have cancer aries we have you're the goat wow something by the new moon nice okay so let's keep going hold your vision so if you're manifesting and you're not seeing the results right away remember things take time some things are in divine timing so keep going keep doing what you're doing if you had some kind of issue a personal issue i see it coming to a resolution damn okay and i and i see a powerful change for you very soon within the next four days four weeks four months from when you see this okay so you have dried flowers this is from my homemade deck, by the way. Drain, low vibration due to stress, sleepless nights, let go of control issues, ego and pride are taken over, overthinking, hermit card. So you could be a Virgo, dealing with a Virgo. A need for downtime and reflection. Four days, four weeks, four months. You can't make this up. You can't make this up. I literally just said that. So there you go. That's confirming right there. So you have coconut wax candle, allergies, second opinion on a matter slash situation, love affairs. 12 a.m. nighttime, new, full moon, truth's coming to light, number seven, so year of the horse. Yellow doll. So you could be Indian or you love Indian food or this is someone coming towards you. You love Asian things. 
Southeast Asia, maybe you're traveling there. Solar plexus opening and active. High energy time, high manifestation. What I say? Creating something of value could be connected to life purpose. So whatever you're creating, whatever you're manifesting, it's connected to your life purpose. That's why the doors are opening for you. You healed your inner child. Timing is summer. So maybe this started from the summer that just passed, from whenever you see this. Food. Yellow foods. So we have evil eye. I'm hearing you should pick up an evil eye br bracelet or ring or something. Protected from evil eye. Psychic abilities. Use your intuition. Gossip, envy, jealousy. Work with blue, white, and black crystals. So you are protected from evil eye. So that's cool. And then you have soup dumplings. A gift. Big windfall. 777. Seven, seven. You have 7 over here and you have 777 seven, seven here. So 7 and 4 are very synchronistic here. That could be life path numbers as well. Okay, um, seven days, seven weeks, seven months, July, material wealth, improving health and healing, good omens, April and May. So there you go. You have April, which is number four and May, which is number five. Hands are more sensitive at this time. So I would be more gentle with your hands, especially if you use your, your hands a lot for what you do for a living, you know, maybe do some stretches, you know, maybe get massages and stuff like that. Um, there's a need for you to incorporate more yellow foods into your life, into your diet. I see you healing from sleepless nights. You were probably at like a low vibration because you were very drained, stressed, you know, worried about too many things. You had a lot of control issues. You were letting your ego and pride take over, overthinking way too much. But I see you getting out of that because you are very sensitive so make sure you're cleansing your energy and removing any cords that are not yours anyone's energy that you might pick up along the way because i see you as a very sensitive person like a person that likes to to care for people very nurturing especially if you have cancer in your chart like yeah you need you need to you need to cleanse that shit like for real and i see a big win for you especially in 2022 or from whenever you see this april and may or something in july so that's really cool that is so cool dude so this is my homemade deck my my other homemade deck <laughs> like this is my homemade deck but this is another homemade deck that i made so let's see what's going on let's see what what else we need to know for number fours number fours i'm hearing tightrope like tightrope so you're you're on like a very fine line of what you're doing you're trying to balance that's why you pick this number because you're trying to find balance in your life that's what's going on and i see you doing that so keep doing what you're doing let's see what the cards have to say okay so first card is beautiful mess chill out <laughs> oh gosh here we go hot mess workaholic work 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 overworked yeah you guys are just overworked working way too much you you guys have a lot of capricorn i'm surprised capricorn didn't come up because you guys this is like heavy capricorn here okay time to chill being firm with your decisions four of swords four and four of swords look at this you can't make this shit up that's crazy yeah you guys need to relax stop overthinking stop taking advice from others all over the place confused do something you love yeah there's a need for you to really like chill out take a chill pill in the nicest way possible you know i love you guys it's all love here but take it easy bro like Things don't play out overnight. Like, keep doing what you're doing, but let go of, like, control issues and shit. Like, you're working way too much. Um, you could be the type of person that you're like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm at home. I'm relaxing, but you're still doing, like, 500 things. So, like, <laughs> trust me, I'm guilty of that, too. Like, I'm like, oh, no, I have the weekend off. And then I just end up doing all this shit and, like, I'm just, like, working. So, like, just really just take it easy if you can <laughs> all right so taking a charge okay taking okay taking charge of your life moving on 
Re relocating number 222. So you could be seeing a lot of 222s. Prosperous time, lucky streak, abundance. Working as a team. Strength in numbers. Wow. So you could be networking, meeting a lot of people. You could be moving, going to a different job that has a lot of people. You work with a lot of different people. Attracting what you want. Prayers being answered. True love. So you got true love coming in or you're dealing with someone that is actually true love, which is very beautiful. They could start off as a friend. Missing you, remembering, reminiscing, look at the past, looking at the past. Wow. Nostalgia, childhood memories, rose-colored glasses, blind to the truth, having a hard time letting go and healing. So you guys are letting go of the past okay but you could be looking at people's photos or people are looking at photos of you on your social media or whatever you're reminiscing a lot at this time you're thinking about the past you know you you probably have scorpio and venus and you're just like really having a hard time letting go you could have a lot of control issues which we saw over here okay so you're the type of person that has a very hard time letting go but you're healing but you know how like we like to romanticize the past. Like, you know, things were like not that great, right? But like when it happened, it passed, times passed already. You start romanticizing it like, oh, like only thinking about the good times. That's what you're doing. But remember, things happen for a reason. You're moving on and let it go, okay? Think happy. Too self-critical, not happy with life at the moment, worried, think happy thoughts. Meditation is needed, not happy in a relationship. Year of the Tiger, number three. So you could be, uh, you could have chose number three pile as well, or there's a need for you to look at that because maybe there's messages for you. Toxic thoughts, cool, calm, and collected, happy thoughts. Yeah, so I feel like you guys just need to be more grateful. I feel like you need to be patient. You're attracting what you want. You're doing a lot of uh, affirmations, prayers, meditations, but you need to let the past go. And I feel like that's what you guys are doing. And things are going to become a lot better in the year of the tiger for you. And you have dragons. So you could be born in the year of the dragon. Or that could be uh, someone you're dealing with. Number five. Okay. Um, yeah, because I'm here in five days, five weeks. So that could be for somebody. Feeling pressured. Peer pressure. Defending yourself. Fighting for your beliefs. Not sure of the future. Why? Why, why, why? You keep asking why. You guys are asking way too many things. You're 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 overthinking everything. You need to chill out for real cuz this, this is making me like I'm feeling sick right now. So, I don't know what the hell is going on, but like I'm I'm feeling very sick right now and nervous and anxious. My stomach hurts, so I don't know what the hell is going on. But you guys need to really really relax cuz this this is this is stressing you out. I'm getting stressed out right now and I'm not even I don't even know what the hell is going on. Number 13, 13 adds up to number four, stepping out of your comfort zone, leaving others behind. Yeah, a lot of you are going through some kind of spiritual awakening and this awakening is causing like a tower moment in your life and you're leaving people behind. It could be friends, family, and it hurts, okay? But you need to ground yourself. You need to relax for real. Okay, so let's close this reading with some messages from spirit. Okay. July. Visit family. So maybe that'll make you feel better. Maybe you're at a distance of from them. Chill out again. Again. <laughs> this came out. New home. So I see you guys getting a new home or you just moved to somewhere new. You know, March. Manifest. You guys are definitely manifesting a lot right now. Treat yourself. One month. So smile more yeah you guys need to smile more like relax like take it easy it's all right inner child healing something not working out 
so something's not working out you have a promotion plant feet on solid ground in nature yeah a hundred percent like if you guys have a lot of fire in your chart which that's what i'm seeing here okay you guys need to really ground yourself especially fire signs like I i'm saying this with love because i'm a fire sign as well and i constantly need to be grounding myself or i'm all over the place i'm overthinking so like you guys really need to just plant your feet especially if you can go outside and do that that would be amazing but i know a lot of people can't do that um but like just doing that like in your house and having that intention like envisioning that your feet are like roots going into the ground connecting to mother gaia like you you really need to ground yourself and you need to do this every day eyes on you so you're definitely being watched as well especially online all right thank you so much i gotta end this because i'm really sick i hope you guys um you guys listen everything's gonna be okay but you really need to ground yourself 100 percent all right all right many blessings to you everything's gonna be okay i see you guys getting out of this but you really need to ground yourself all right namaste i love you guys and i'll see you in the next one love and light